Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans? And where the heck are the Albans? We're in Pisa, Italy! <laughs> we we are in Pisa, Italy, right? No. No? No. Where are we? Niles. Niles? Niles. Niles, Illinois? Yep. So, how did the Leaning Tower of Pisa get to Niles, Illinois? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Do you want to know? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me tell you. Well, first, before I do that, let me give you a quick update. Uh, last time I vlogged, I told everybody how sick we all were, including Vivian. But Vivian is over the flu. Yeah. And she's over her strep throat. Yay. <laughs> what? <laughs> As she coughs. <laughs> <laughs> but she is. She's off. She's off. She's over her flu, over the strep. I'm over my flu. Emerson had to work today. And Becky, not wanting to be outdone by anyone, has pneumonia. <laughs> so, you know why you can't hear pneumonia go to the bathroom? Why? Because the pee is silent. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's spelled pneumonia. It's like a pterodactyl. Wait, what? <laughs> anyway. Yes, we are in Niles, Illinois. And oh, also, uh, last time I talked to you, we had a blizzard come through. Not only were we were sick, but we had a blizzard. And it was, I believe it was like 13 degrees outside. Yeah. But, look at this. The snow Let's see what temperature it is. is almost gone. And today, it is almost 60, 60 degrees outside, almost 60. 61 degrees. So yeah, look at that. It is almost, the snow is almost gone. And that's only been a week. A week. A week. A week. So you know the old saying, Vivi, if you don't like the weather in Chicago, what do you do? I have no idea. You stick around a few minutes. <laughs> you never heard that before? No. <laughs> Wow, but yeah, so if you don't like the weather in Chicago, stick around a few minutes. But So let me tell you about how the Leaning Tower of Pisa wound up in Niles, Illinois. So let's go, uh, let's go take, take a little walk. So this is the Leaning Tower Y, as they call it. The Leaning Tower of Chicago. Yeah, Vivi calls it the Leaning Tower of Chicago, but it is the Leaning Tower of, uh, the Leaning Tower YMCA. Y so, <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this a little bit. So as the story goes, in 1934, an industrialist named Robert Ilg, at least I think that's how you pronounce his last Wait, name. Il? It's spelt I-L-G, Ilg. Il. Um, he built this, he was a big fan of Italy, and he loved it so much, and one of his favorite buildings in Italy was the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So he decided to build a recreation park for his factory. Then, that was in 1934. In 1960, Robert Ilk's family donated a big part of the property to the community and the YMCA. And this big tower here is in actuality a water tower. Wait, what? Yeah, this is actually a water tower. And it provides the water for all the fountains in the park, including the big swimming pools at the YMCA building, which is right which there. Which are open. Which they are open, correct. This says it right over there. Right oh, look at that. Leaning Tower YMCA. Focus. So there it is, the Leaning Tower YMCA. The pool is open. And you can register for swim classes today. All right, so here it is. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Vivi's wants to touch it. Go and touch it. Touch it. <laughs> I have it on my finger now. It's wet. Well, it's a little rainy today. But 
actually the rain stopped. That's why we kind of came over here. Um, but look at replica of the Leaning Tower Pisa Hill. So its height is 94 feet, and which is half the size of the actual Leaning Tower of Pisa. So you see the size of this thing and how big and tall it is. And this is only half the size of the real one. So its height is 94 feet, its diameter 28 feet, it's leaning 7.4 feet. The year started in 1931 and the year it was completed was 1934. Okay, look at the There difference. are six bells in here and the oldest is 600 years. Five bells, oldest is 334 years and those bells were actually made in Italy. Yep. So the Chicago replica is a utility tower to store water. Des design was selected to honor the outstanding scientist, Vincent Galileo. So this tower is dedicated to all who contribute and strive to make this earth and its unlimited resources materially and scientifically a better place for mankind. Robert okay. A. Robert A. Ilk. Yes, there is a door here. Yeah. And look, it even includes the sculptures that would be on the real one. The real one? The real Leaning Tower of Pisa. <gasps> you used to be able to go in here. But, Why? And I believe they still give some tours every once in a great while. Okay. But they had to close this for a few years. And the reason for it was back in 2014, they found out that it was too dangerous to go up inside because parts of it were starting to crumble and, and want fall to... apart. Yeah, we okay. don't want that to happen. Especially the way it's leaning. That's Chewy Avenue right out there. This thing would easily, if it fell, it would go right in to Chewy Avenue. So the city council held a meeting and they had someone come in and give an estimate on the repairs. The repairs cost $600,000. But in 2015, they gave the okay to use city funds to restore the Leaning Tower Y. And it cost about $600,000, but they repaired it all. Pretty impressive. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But they do have a nice park area surrounding the, the tower. Nice little recreational area. You can come out here, eat lunch, Yummy. or just rest if you're walking along. But it is in a very industrialized area. Like I said, that's Tui Avenue right out there and lots of businesses around if you are in the neighborhood papa chris's place is right there they have good food they got really good food even vivi says so they got good they, euros and hot dogs and yeah, all sorts they of good also stuff have and a target and a costco yeah, there's a costco and a target right and over an aldi. there and an aldi? and an aldi oh yeah aldi's right there how about that and just another little interesting tidbit about the tower. When it was built, mm -hmm. it just happened to open on the year when the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the actual tower, turned 600 years old. Wow. Coincidence? Uh, yeah. I think not. I think so. You think so? I think so. Hmm. Could be. What? Coincidence <laughs> where they like, in like days. I don't know. And months. I don't know. There's another birthday today. Stop asking me tough questions. There's another birthday today. <laughs> oh yeah, guess whose birthday it is. In case you didn't notice, somebody is a Stranger Things freak. Are you wearing, you've been wearing your t-shirt? I am. 
Look at that. And Even a pin. And a pin. Whose birthday is it today? Today is February 19th. So if you are a Stranger Things fan, yep. you will know this person. Yep. She. 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 What's her name? Is Millie Bobby Brown. And who does she play? Eleven. Eleven. And she is turning 14 today. She's 14 years old. So happy birthday! Happy birthday, Millie Bobby Brown. When we first sat down, Vivian wanted to test the ice. So I had her sit down. It's ice. And she stuck her leg over and said, confirmed it is definitely ice still. But look it, it's melting. See it, see it that? out in the middle? Wait, I hear that. hear that. Yep. And it's okay if you fell through, because guess what? It's only four inches deep. <laughs> I still get my clothes wet. But so there it is. Yeah. The Leaning Tower YMCA. Yeah. So Vivi, can anybody just come and visit the Leaning Tower Y? Yeah. Yeah, of course. It's free. You it just is walk free. Right you just, in. Yep, you just walk around. So if you do want to come and visit the Leaning Tower Y, the address is 6300 West Tui Avenue in Niles, Illinois. So as I was saying, I thought the pool might be about four inches deep. Uh, nah. No. We're thinking maybe more like about an inch, maybe what? two. Maybe one and a half. Maybe one and a half. Okay, so we just wanted to show you something real quick uh, since it was such a actually a nice day. Uh, not too many times in February you get a 60 degree day. <laughs> so, uh, why are you able to come today? Oh, that's right. It's President's Day. Yeah. You don't have school. I don't have school. That's right. I don't have school tomorrow either. Nice. Teacher's Woo. Institute Day. How nice. Yeah. All right. So if you liked what you saw today, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Wrong hand. There it is. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe down below. And we will see you guys next time on... Where the heck are the Albans? Where the heck are the Albans? That's right. Bye. Bye, guys.